has been spotted out. A grenade is coming up, and the grenade does connect AJ on his knees. Gino Fair coming in. He wants to make sure he puts these teams down the ground. He gets another gal and goes down. He is going to shoot Ben. Oh Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gino Fair, this man has no fear. And there we have it. We were just talking about it. to play an extra save because I do see a wake on. Wait a He's second. Dead. The play zone. Was I, that the play zone? It was the play zone, I told you. That's unfortunate. Alrighty, so I guess all those torches burned out quicker, but right now Capshi is going to be doing all the burning it's a and it's a team name machine has gone down. Is this going to come to bite them later on? Because we have seen that happen in the last game. Yeah, you hate to see that. You hate to see that. Wang in the midst of the smoke. His lungs are going to be struggling as Bad Rev is going to get taken down. John Mara getting the knock onto him. And Zero Fear finishing off Bad Rev. And that's just unfortunate. John Mara, Wang might be the last man left standing here. But it is a 2v1. Kapshi and Steel Shot. They are kind of separated. Wang has a little bit of cover. I don't think this nade's gonna find its mark. It could be close. Oh, it's a little too far to the left. But the second nade, oh, the reply nade is huge. But a very, very quick rotation, or rather a reaction from Steel Shot surviving. What could have been a deadly nade? I think it's basically the same thing that we just experienced right now. We saw that nade coming in. He saw the nade coming in. He made the right call to get out of harm's way. But now, Juno Fair is gonna come in for a little bit of burst fight. But it looks like he is the one who's getting get taken down. And of course, Cooney is gonna come at distance and knock him off his feet. And with that wang, the one who was going to be rescued is now going to have to rescue his teammate. But now Havoc and Cooney, they have their eyes set on the mark. They know exactly where Wang is going to come out from. And uh, well, who is going to get the kill? Is it going to be Future Station that moves in? Or are CZ High Voltage going to walk away? Well, looks like both teams are backing off. A bit of fear and he needs to try and stay alive. But look at the high ground advantage for John Mara. They pretty much have this in the bag. They pretty much have this in the bag, but a good grenade could knock them off their feet and take them for the right. As Malik, in fact, is not holding back. He takes down Bablu's tie which means that Zibian and Teen Wolf are going to be on the hunt, but have a look at his HP. He does get that first aid in. I'm telling you, Wang and Juro Fair, against all odds, are looking really good. But the thing is, if... Ooh, wait a second. This is going to be interesting. If he sees them. If he sees them. Now, this is where I expected those low toss grenades to come in. And looks like... Looks how's, like... How's Malik, how's Malik still alive? I, I don't even know. He just he just made his home inside a little bit of a, a crook inside of those rocks. I mean, hey, man, that's where we all started. We all lived in caves once upon a time. It looks like Malik is going to be, you know, trying to get a little bit of ancestral help over here. He does spot the enemy. He is going to shoot frantically, but who is going to come out on top because Zibion is going to take some damage from the blue zone. And wait a second, Tyron goes down again. He's going to wait a few seconds and the play zone is what does Team Bablu in out in the fourth position. At least they weren't knocked out by any humans. Well, Wang's going to get a free kill onto Malik, if I'm not mistaken, as Assassin's going to be knocked out by the play zone as well. And it looks like Starbucks going to be knocked out. Seven kills to the name, though. Down to a 2v2. So I think it's a 1v3, if I'm not mistaken. 2v2, it's 2v2. a 2v2. Wang and Zero Fear from above. And of course, for the side of team number 17, high voltage, Aussie, Cooney, the down down in the doldrums. This is rough indeed. There's no way up. There is one path available, but Wang, he's keeping the pin down. He is keeping the pin, cap, pin down. In fact, Jiro Fair can come in from up top and just uh, pretty much uh, spoil the entire game. It doesn't look good for Ozzy and his teammate Cooney right now. They are going to try desperately to try and get out of this pickle, but I don't see anything happening. Now, of course, they've got a peek. They've got to shoot. They have to deploy smokes. They've got to make sure they keep the members from Jean Mara guessing. But when you are looking down at your prey like this with intent to kill who it's going to be difficult of course wang is in that beautiful position to basically end this game and looks like it's, it can happen any second now it's going to need a miracle for high voltage to come back out of this right, and there, there you have go. it ozzy's gonna hit the ground his knees bloodied crawling around a trail of blood left right behind him but there's nothing his teammate can do he can't go for the trade he can't go for the hell he can't go for the res either and it's going to be on the one man left standing cooney trying oh, he's his going best in. but he's been he's spotted out in. as well he needs to take a fight right now he's still sticking around and look at zero fear while he's living up to his name zero fear and he's going to get the kill, and he's going to get the knock, and of course he's going to get a chicken dinner for his team. John Mara, kind of a quiet day, 
but they wake up when it matters the most. Absolutely. Game four, Miramar is going to go Jean Maro's way. And of course, uh, all the lads on your screen, happy, ecstatic as always. And all that homework back there <laughs> does finally pay. I see a few high fives coming in. That is what it's all about. Vang especially looks happy, of course. Why shouldn't he? They are the winners here in Miramar. But again, Blake, a little different he could regret it. Well, he is downhill at the very least, but we do have a bit of a stalemate. They're waiting for the final circle. The Kuzon coming on oh, in. Oh. Hungry Boss getting started by Zero Fury. He should win this duel. He <gasps> won't. He won't. He gets taken down. He gets actually double team. Hungry Box going to win that duel. And now, seven Cs. They have all four players left standing for John Mara. They have four as well, even though Zero Fury is right now bleeding out. There's no one nearby to go for the rest, and he just might be done for here. The nade sailing in, and there's no one. No one nearby. This just shows how important flash hiders or suppressors are at this stage because you do not want to be giving your position away by the flash of your rifle barrel. Judo Fair is going to try and crawl his way back, but he is going to bleed out and Hungry Box is going to get that kill. Oh, that's a good grenade. Oh, had he gone for the revive, I'm pretty sure someone would have been knocked out and, well, Hungry Box survives. He backs out in the nick of time as his buggy goes boom in front of him. But now, 7C, they are going to be controlling the lay of the land. Look how they are spread out. Now, they are going to be inching closer and closer towards the center and you know what Jean Mara might have just given away the advantage they might have at high voltage the patience from assassin and you know what very aptly he's got 47 bullets in, in his dp as well i don't know how many oh. of you guys get reference but assassin 47 hitman. i'm just putting it out there <laughs> and he's trying to be a hitman the thing is they need to be quiet they have the man disadvantage they can't take these fights they need to wait and watch and hope that John Mar and Seven Seas are able to knock each other out, maybe down to a couple of players, and then they strike, and then they go in for the chicken dinner. But Assassin, his trigger finger it gets a little too itchy, and he finally strikes and he spots him out, and he's gonna get another knock. But with that, he shows his hand and he gets taken out, leaving six left alive and two teams left in the running for that chicken dinner. And it is gonna be a 3 v 3 situation, and only one of these teams is gonna walk away the winner in the first game of day two in these beautiful finals. CZ High Volt is getting eliminated. Ooh, look how Wang and Memo are getting close to one another. They are going to sniff each other out sooner or later. But the question is, who is going to draw first blood in the situation? Looks like Gunner spotted Memo from afar and took him down with that rapid fire Uzi. Wang. The jig is up. Well, the jig is up. And Wang's like, uh, uh, do I shoot him? Uh, do I get my position Well, away? he saw me. <laughs> might as well finish him off. Maybe he might not. But this makes things very, very interesting indeed. It's now a 3v2 advantage for John Mara and Wang. He's just dodging bullets while on his belly crawling around. Seven Cs down to the final man right now. Hungrybox is going to get knocked down. It's a 1v3 and they know where love is and Turo Love, oh. he finds one. Can he find more? No, he can't. And John Mara, it was well played, well paced, and they will win that yummy chicken dinner. They have won the first chicken dinner on day two of the PMPL South Asia season two finals. And of course, all the boys on our screens are going to be elated. All that homework coming in play, all those postcards, every little thing matters. Second and chicken dinner for them, Second right? chicken dinner for them. We did see them on our screens yesterday as well. And of course, uh, all smiles all around. But a different approach to Erangel today as what we saw on day one. We did have a slower start. But, of course, the action was there, all the drama was there, and at the end, well, bullets were flying, bodies were dropping, and teams were dropping over like dominoes. I also like how they're not overexcited about that win, because they know they have a long road ahead of them, because we be the final one. It is going to be the final duel on the cliffs from above, delivering death, destruction, and pain. This DRS Gaming, they have been on a rampage on a wrangle. 16 kills, oh, oh, it could oh. be 17. Zero Fury somehow does a dance macabre and avoids the bullets. But how long can he do this tango? John Mara, a couple of them, one player I do believe on his knees, the rest should be coming in. And DRS in this little bit of lull of action. This is an opportunity to head on down to the circle, actually might be favoring them. And dude, I'm not even joking right now. DRS already have 16 kills. If they win this chicken dinner, if they get a few more kills, they could actually win the entire thing. They are going hard for this Mafia Ninja does get Gunner. And that is going to be a confirmation. That means 17, 17 kills now. If they go over 20, we are going to see the big 2-0. We might just see ASL being toppled over Zero Fair. Has been spotted out. A grenade is coming up, and the grenade does connect. AJ on his knees. Zero Fair coming in. He wants to make sure he puts these teams on the ground. He gets another gals and goes down. He is going to shoot. Oh me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Zero Fair. This man has no fear. And there we have it. We were just talking about a team that could win it all. So they have been wiped out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So they've got a knock as well. And A1's out. A1's out. Saw him all alone, holding 
one for his team, oh and it is now goodness. a 1v1. Because Wang, Wang is bleeding out. His teammates nearby, and Sonim inside of the house. He knows there's only one player remaining. It is going to come down to the 1v1 to decide which what team is going to get the final. final. The final Woo. chicken dinner of PUBG Mobile Pro League South Asia. I mean, my heart is racing a hundred miles an hour right now. As Sonim is going to move in, Judo Pick comes in close. He drops down like a god. He's going to move around. Sonim does know where he's coming from. The Uzi is in his hands. A little bit of a free fire. A flashbang is going to be deployed. No there we have it. Sonim comes in. The Uzi goes in deep. Wow! Jean Mara have done it. Jean Mara have done it. And one man is the one who is going to be the star. And that man is the man without fear. Judo Fair winning the last game for his team. Wow! Oh, oh my lord. I, okay, listen. Listen, I mean, listen. I'm done. Okay, we, we need to wow. breathe again. I'm, just, I'm not done. Of the, what a game, play. Okay. What a game. All right, all right. We still don't know for sure who the top team is, but right now, John Mara, they at least get something to the name. A fantastic chicken dinner in the end, the 1v3 clutch. It looked like DRS were gonna run away with it. It looked like it was gonna be a 20 kill game. But then Zero Fear says no, he lives up to his name. They get the chicken dinner. Oh. My mind is blown, my eardrums are blown, and I am depleted, because that took everything out of me. That took everything out of me as well, and uh, I might have popped a few eardrums, but that is part of the game. What an amazing, amazing game we had today, and well, this is what